Well hello there and welcome back to my channel. Now today we are having a quick little look at this F4 fly controller from T-Motor. It's got quite an interesting feature as it were, we'll get to that in a second. Comes in a nice box, what can we get in the box? Well, we've got uh, wires to connect up to a 4-in-1 ESC, plus some little gummies to mount the actual flight controller so we don't get any uh, feedback, vibrations and things to the flight controller, which is good. So we've got that, we've got some stickers, and other bits and pieces, and then we've got the flight controller itself. And this is what makes it interesting. It is absolutely tiny, you can see that there. It's a really small F4 flight controller. It takes two to six S, so we can use this on a normal five inch build without any problems or issues, but this really will cut down a weight. In fact, I don't think there are any fly controllers that have a 20 by 20 mounting option like this that are any lighter. If they are, put a comment down in the description and we'll have a look at that perhaps in the future. But as far as I can see, this is the smallest, lightest flight controller and for quite a reasonable price as well. So let's have a look at some uh, dimensions of the flight controller. So then let's have a look at some dimensions of this guy here. It is along the longer edge, oh, about 24 and a half millimeters there along the long side and a narrow point just over 17 millimeters there so as we said a really really small flight controller but let's see the weight because that could be very important to you especially if you put this on a smaller build so the flight controller on its own is coming in at 2.61 grams the wire to connect it up that's 3.45 and then with the gummies we get five in the pack which is useful in case we lose one those two, that's four. So we're coming in at around about 3.9 grams for the whole thing, and that's really, really light. So if you've got a build where even the smallest amount of weight is important to you, well then certainly this um, flight controller could be an option, something that you might want to consider. So let's have a look at the pads and what they all do now. So let's have a look at our flight controller in some detail. At the front, and we know this is the front because we have our arrow pointing forwards, this is the top, and this is the front. We have our connection for our 4-in-1 ESC, so that's there at the front there. On the right hand side we have our connection for our USB, then we have buzzer minus and buzzer plus. We want to connect up a buzzer, we put that there. On the bottom here we have some pads that are identified underneath, so have a look at that in a second. But on the left we have our camera connections and our VTX connections. So at the top we have a voltage for our camera, and that's switchable between battery voltage and 5 volts, very useful. The centre one there, or the next one down, which will be the centre of the three wires that we need to connect to. That is our signal in, so that's our camera in, followed by a ground. So that's our camera nicely connected up. Then we have another ground for our VTX. Next to the ground we have video out, so that's our video out connection, followed by voltage. Now that voltage once again is switchable. We then have our soft serial connection, followed by a UART one so that's a tx and an rx for you at one to allow us to connect to smart audio so we have our camera and our vtx connected up on that side there but we can switch them as we said and how do we do that well we turn over to the underside the flight controller now first and foremost let's have a look at these pads on the front which i know some people find very interesting these are solder connections for our four in one esc if we don't want to use the connection there to plug in we can use these pads here instead. So we have a current sensing pad, for current sensing. We have motors four, three, two, and one, our battery voltage, and our ground. So we can solder up that directly to our four and one VTX if we choose to. So very useful indeed. On this side, we then have our pads that we need to solder together to get power to a camera or a VTX. So this is our camera pad, stay in focus. There we are focus there okay so we solder this middle pad either to the left pad for battery voltage for our camera or we solder that middle pad to the right pad for 5 volts for our camera and same here with our VTX the center pad to the left for battery voltage to our VTX and the center pad to the right for 5 volts to our VTX depending on what our VTX requires so that's very very useful indeed to be able to switch between those two without say having to plug the VTX directly into your battery voltage, maybe just doing a solder 
um, soldering a wire straight to the battery um, positive you can get issues and problems with doing that so in fact we can connect that up or switch between the two is very very useful this flight controller another thing that makes this flight controller excellent really good value for money and then on the bottom here we have our final connecting pads as we said the actual pads themselves really are on the other side but they identify for us clearly on the bottom if you can still see that we have our led connection there and our 5 volt and our ground to connect up leds if we wish to after that we have another ground and then another 5 volts and that 5 volt the second one is for our receiver because then we want to connect our receiver now the one that comes after the 5 volt is sbus very popular um, protocol sbus so most people probably be using that they're not using something like crossfire if they are using something like crossfire well we come to that in a second then we've got our 3.3 volts if we wish to use that that's up to us some receivers receive, need uh, 3.3 volts most don't know but they always put that on there just in case and then finally we have our rx2 and our tx2 so we then we connect that the rx2 perhaps to uh, fly sky if we're doing that ibus or if we want to connect these to crossfire as well we can connect it there and so we get our final connection on there so there we are all our connections for this little guy so what can we say in conclusion oh, in focus what can we say in conclusion then regarding this little flight controller well it's a really really nice little flight controller very small very lightweight could be very useful in our build especially if we push for space obviously it's 20 by 20 which will fit most certainly five inch frames and smaller nowadays so very useful is it going to have all the connections you may need well no it's an f4 not an f7 so you're limited with the number of UARTs that you've got to be limited in the connections that you can make to this but it serves a purpose so perhaps you might want to consider this for your next build or project I have to say from T-Motor it should be very very good quality but until I get to try it in a build I don't know that for certain but I'd say the chances are this is going to be better quality than most because it's coming from T-Motor so there you go I hope you really appreciate the information thanks so much for watching and uh, happy flying take care then bye bye